Okay guys, we're back today for our seventh chapter of our Wayside School book. Remember we're reading Wayside School is Falling Down, or sorry, Wayside School Gets a Little Stranger and it's by the same author, Lewis Sacker. Today we are gonna read chapter seven, which is titled A Bad Word. Okay, chapter seven, A Bad Word. I think that that looks like someone we know, Mr. Kidswater, but let's find out. Early in the morning, a white limousine drove up to Wayside School, just like always. The chauffeur, let's pause, chauffeur, that sounds like a fancy word. That word means someone that just drives someone around. So if you have a chauffeur, that means you have a driver. The chauffeur got out of the car, then opened the passenger door just like always. Now let's pause. Who do you think is gonna come out of the limousine door? I think you're right. I think it is Mr. Kidswater. So let's see who it is. Mr. Kidswater stepped out of the car. Thank you, James, he said. My name is David, said the chauffeur, just like always. Mr. Kidswater entered the school building. Good morning, Mr. Kidswater, said Mrs. Day, the school secretary. She handed him a cup of hot coffee, just like always. Thank you, Miss Knight, said Mr. Kidswater, and he walked into his office. Except his office door was closed. He smashed into it, spilling coffee all over his green suit. So here he is with coffee all over himself. Who closed my door? He demanded. Why didn't you just open it? Asked Mrs. Day. It's always open in the morning, said Mr. Kidswater. How was I supposed to know it was closed this time? Up on the 30th floor, Mrs. Jules took roll. Todd was absent today. Oh dear, I hope Todd is all right, said Mrs. Jules. Todd is never all right said Joy, and she and Mar Mauricia laughed together. Damien looked at Mrs. Jules. Ever since he returned to Wayside School, he thought there was something different about her, but he still couldn't figure out what it was. Mr. Kidswater's voice came over the PA system. Good morning, boys and girls. There was the usual pause. Today, I want to talk about doors, said Mr. Kidswater. This should be interesting, said Mrs. Jules. Do you know how many doors there are in this school building? Asked Mr. Kidswater. Mrs. Jules shook her head. Well, there are a lot, over 30 doors. And some of you probably have doors at home too. Maybe more than one. All those doors, think about it. Well, Mr. Kidswater certainly has given us something to think about this morning, said Mrs. Jules. So remember, said Mr. Kidswater, and please be careful. Always check to see if a door is open before going through it. And if it's not open, open it. If you can't open it yourself, ask someone to open it for you. This may not make a lot of sense to you now, but someday you'll thank me. Mrs. Jules looked around the whole class. That's good advice, she said. I think most of you already knew it. But at least it's nice that we know we have a principal who cares. I hate doors, shouted Mr. Kidswater. It's a dumb word. Door, door, door. Who made up that word anywhere? Anyway, Mrs. Jules waited a little longer, but Mr. Kidswater seemed to be finished. Some people just don't like doors, she said. I have a new rule, declared Mr. Kidswater. You may no longer say that word. You know what word I mean, but don't say it. Instead, I have made up a new word for you. Goozak. Open the goozak. Shut the goozak. Lock the goozak. Don't you think that's a better word? I do, and from now on, that other word is a bad word, and I've made that my decision. Everyone looked around and then looked at the goozak. Remember, goozak is another word for door. Suddenly, it opened. Todd entered. 
I'm sorry I'm late, he said. That's okay, said Mrs. Jules. I'm just glad you're not sick or hurt. My dad locked his keys in the car, Todd explained. We had to use a coat hanger to unlock the door. Everyone gasped. <gasps> Mrs. Jules made Todd write his name on the blackboard under the word discipline. So why do you think Mrs. Jules made him write his word on the board? It's because he used the new bad word, which was door, right? Tomorrow we will read chapter eight, which is Santa Claus. See you soon.